So going through prompts that were published by other people can be a great first step for constructing your own prompts and for solving your own problems with ChatGPT. Now, as you go through such prompts and as you search for prompts, you might also stumble across prompts that are sometimes called super prompts, like can or dan. Now, can stands for code anything now, and in the end is a special prompt constructed to optimize chat GPT for coding. Now, it came up relatively early after ChatGPT was released, and in my experience, it's not as awesome as some people make it. It seems to be over-constructed to me, and I would argue it actually adds too much information and too much context. Nonetheless, you can definitely also try out such super prompts like this one here or also like Dan, which actually jailbreaks ChatGPT with the goal of getting ChatGPT to provide responses to questions it would normally not answer. For example, questions about building a bomb or anything like this. So such super prompts exist and you can definitely play around with them. But in my experience, as mentioned, they're not as powerful as some people make you believe that they are. And especially this jailbreaking stuff is of course also something OpenAI, the owner of ChatGPT, is actively working against. So that in my experience this doesn't really work too well anymore. So definitely experiment with such super prompts, but don't focus on them. It's always important to keep in mind that ChatGPT does not truly understand you. So giving ChatGPT a complex rule set like this one here with can may work because it leads to some word and sentence prediction that actually gives you the output you want, but it can also simply be a bit over-engineered. So instead, I would recommend that you simply focus on the general prompting techniques and concepts you learned about in this section and that you explore other prompts written by other people to get ideas for your own prompts, but you should not rely on those super prompts. Because at least in my experience, they're not as powerful or useful as some people think they are.